Welcome to this video on scheduling Microsoft Teams posts in channels. So previously on this YouTube channel, you may have seen a video where we look at scheduling chat messages. But in this one, we're going to look at scheduling channel messages. So this is really useful if you want to pre-prepare content that is going to go out in a schedule to the members of your channel. If you're doing a comms program, things like that. If you're launching something new and you want to prepare it because you've got time now, but maybe not a massive amount of time when it's happening because you're focused on something else, then this is a really, really nice bit of functionality. And it's nice and simple and easy to use. So I'm just in a channel on a Microsoft Teams and I'm going to start a post. When I do that, you're going to see everything's there as expected. So I'm just going to put in some information. Now you're going to fill in all of your details and format it the way you want it to be. So I've just quickly popped something in there, which is quite cool, um, about Project Paris going live. So obviously it's not a real project. Just to give you an example and a really useful scenario as well, something like a message or something going live is quite useful to set up in advance because you're usually probably running around the background doing something else. So once you've done that, the way to schedule this, because obviously I don't want to click on post because it will immediately be on the channel. But if I want to schedule this for a later day, I'm going to click on the plus in the bottom left hand corner which when you hover, it says actions and apps. And when I do, you've got the schedule message option and that's the one I'm after. So very similar to scheduling your chat message, you're then just gonna select a date and a time that you want this to go out. So this is the 7th of, 7th of March, it's tomorrow. So if I just click on the calendar, obviously I can't send it out yesterday, but I can send it out up to a week in advance. So that gives you some really nice bit of functionality there. So I'm going to click on today, bring it back and send it out at four o'clock. And then I'm just going to click continue. And then you can just see at the top in purple, obviously it's purple because it's Teams, you can see when it's scheduled to go. If I click on the drop down, I'll have some opportunities to make changes if I've set the wrong time or if something happens and it needs to change, it needs to go out a little bit later. Um, or if you just want to cancel it, I can click on cancel. So once I've set that schedule, I'm just going to click on post. And it kind of looks like it's gone, but don't worry, at the top, it tells you it's sending on 1st of the 6th of March at 4pm. So only I can see that right now, because I'm the one that set that to go. And then at that time, when that time hits, that post on the channel will go out, which is a really nice bit of functionality. Again, I can now go away and do something else, but my post will appear on the channel on the date and the time that I've selected. And remember, you can do that up to a week in advance, so really nice bit of functionality. Really great if you're working with people across uh, multiple time zones as well. That's going to be really useful. So once I have a go play around with, remember you can also schedule your chat messages as well. So if you've got a group chat going on or an individual chat where you want to give one of your team a set of work, but again, you're in different time zones. So you want to schedule it so it doesn't notify them when they're sleeping or relaxing, just in case they've got it on their mobile devices. Then you can schedule messages in individual or group chats. And now also you've just seen how to schedule messages in channels as well. So really useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.